Now, I want to tell you a little story about something that happened that I consider, I call it actually in my book, Leadership When the Lights Go Out. I, between innings, some of you have been to Gold Eyes games, in between innings, there's little skits that go on, little games. Kind of like what you were doing here today, except I got 90 seconds, so it's got to go fast. Well, we had this great new promotion that we had three go-karts, and they lined up at first base, and they were going to drive around in foul territory behind home plate and checkered flags over at third base. The sponsor loved it. They, their logo went right across all 7,000 people as this contest was going on. So we practice this in the afternoon, and we come to the game. Our PA announcer says, on your mark, get set, go! And three go-karts take off. Well, actually, two go-karts take off. The third go-kart, for whatever reason, heads straight towards the pitcher's mound. Now, these are pretty young kids, 10, 11, 12 years old, that are riding these carts. They don't go that fast. They go seven miles an hour, actually, 11 kilometers an hour. But this guy's going straight at the pitcher's mound. And the pitcher's like starting to look like, hey, do I have to jump out of the way? When the cart makes a complete U-turn and heads straight back across the first base foul line directly towards the visitor's dugout. I am up in the suite level, and I'm looking down all that distance, and I can see from that far away these big bug eyes and these white knuckles on that steering wheel as this young lad drives at seven miles an hour straight into the visitor's dugout. Now, there's a three-foot drop there into a cement floor. But it's happening in slow motion. As he gets there, the team, the visiting team, grabs the cart, cushions him, and sets him down in the dugout. Just as my promotions manager runs across the field, she arrives just as they do that. And she runs into the dugout and said, Are you okay? And this little guy with the big bug eyes said, I'm in the dugout! This is the greatest moment of his life. So, we get the cart back out. All the kids in this promotion got a gold eyes hat, except this young lad. He got a gold eyes hat, and he got an autograph ball by the visiting team, and a gold eyes jacket, and, you know, season tickets for life. <laughs> you know, a little extra. Mostly to calm his mother down. But here's what happened in this story. Two innings later, I am walking underneath the grandstand in the concourse that only our staff is in, and a noise I hear from a room. We don't even use this room, but I hear a noise. And I turned around and I thought, I better check that out. So I go inside, and there's my promotions manager bawling her eyes out. I ran across the room. I said, What's the matter? And she, between tears, said to me, I never thought we could hurt a little kid. Now, nobody was hurt, but I guess the potential did exist. Well, I said to her at that moment in time, this is not your fault. We had six people on that field yesterday when we practiced this, not, and I was one of them. Not one of us thought of this possibility. You cannot take this on yourself that you are somehow responsible. This is a freak accident that we will guarantee will never happen again. Now, I spent eight, all eight of my years, that lady was there. She was the, one of the best employees I have ever known. We had wonderful times together, huge successes. But that moment was our most important. And the reason why is because when something goes wrong, do you figure out who's to blame? 
Or do you care about those people and deal with them first? And that's what happened that moment in time. And that's why she remembers that moment like it was yesterday. You know what the crazy thing is? CTV is broadcasting this game, the only game they have ever broadcast, <laughs> including the between inning contest, because they were doing a documentary. So that night, it went to worldwide. You talk about viruses, ESPN, you name it. I received more phone calls the next day from people. Uh, nothing we've ever done before since even comes close to that. It's not how I thought we were going to become famous.